Good morning! <laughs> Jake says it wasn't energetic enough in the last one. We are at the airport. And we are going to Wyoming, where I am from. Back to my roots. Big day? Yep. But what I'd like to point out to you, it is 9.05 a.m. 9.05. I just want to prove on my phone. That's the time. Okay. We were at Wahlburgers. We were having a burger at 9.05 a.m. Okay. Our food has arrived. I can't tell if you can see it. Stand by. Look at that. Let me move my head. Wahlburgers. Special sauce. Oh. Really good. So good. Jake also got onion rings. Which don't tell. <laughs> There's so many there. Mm. Not even mad about it. <laughs> we finished our bre breakfast. <laughs> Listen, you can't tell me what breakfast I can eat, okay? And we're headed to our gate because we're headed to our first stop, which is Chicago. Jazz! We've arrived in Chicago. We have tight connections on this trip. So what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna have to run through the airport in hopes that we make our flight. Chicago's huge. We might have to run in the underground as well. I'm not sure. Uh, and then board our plane, we're off to Denver. Ding, 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 ding. Colorado, here we come. Rockies, we're coming for ya. Can we get off? Can we get off? We're here! We made it! To Rock Springs, Wyoming. Da ding 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 ding. Listen, feels good to be home. I can smell that fresh air already. We're gonna get off this plane and my parents are gonna be waiting. Right. Let's do it! Elevation, 6,700 feet. Almost as tall as you. Almost. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Look at this system for the luggage. They just open the doors and throw it in. There's no belt, nothing else. They just open the appropriate gate and chuck it in. Good old Rock Springs. We made it! My mom picked us up. She doesn't want to be on camera, but this is my mom. She's driving. Don't wreck. Jake's in the back. Hi. <laughs> Can't see you, it's dark. And we're gonna drive home to Casa de West. I'm going home. Yep. I'm going so that's home. where we're going. Enjoy the beautiful view as we drive home. <laughs> Hi, Dad. <laughs> this is my dad, Kenny. What are you doing? <laughs> Hi. This is my parents' dog, Monroe. Come on, come on. Thank Hi. you. Let's go, Wally. Come on, Wally. <laughs> we made it. We're home. In old Rock Springs. This is our house. The only accessible part of it. There's a little ramp. Ta da! Ta da! It's gonna be really hard to do this. Though. Do it. Do it. Do it. Let's go. You've been sitting on a plane all day. I don't mind dogs kissing my lips. Some people think it's gross. It's not okay. I'm into it. Hi, Manuel. Hi, Manuel. Hi. Thank you. Okay, no more kisses. Come on. Okay, okay, come on. Hi. 
Where's Papa? Now we're inside my, my parents' house. I wanted to give you a full tour of their house, but like my mom gets really weird about like, oh, it's not clean enough. It's like you could eat off the floor. It's really clean. Yeah. But she's always like, it's not clean enough. So um, I'm just going to give you a tour of my room. And then I always talk about in my speeches, like all my stuff that I left in their basement. She's going to kill me, but we're going to go see all my stuff <laughs> in the basement. So this was my room. I We moved here. It. Yep. We moved here when I was in junior high. We had another house before this, and then we had this house built. One of the cool things about this, this my room in particular, it's one of the only things other than the ramp that is like accessible. So if you look, the, the light switch is my height. Yeah. Yeah. And the door is super wide. Yeah, it is super wide. I never brought my wheelchair in the house when I was in high school, but... So, it's changed a little bit because the furniture is different in here. Also, this bed didn't exist. When I lived here until I moved to go to university, I had a water bed. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yep, I totally did. <laughs> so, okay. there's a few things to point out while we're in here. There's a little collage of photos that um, I got when I graduated or er, high school. Just a montage of some of the things of me as a kid. This blanket that's hanging here. This this will give you an idea of what it's like to grow up in, in a small town in Rock Springs. This incredible woman who was my um, what's the word I want to use. She like took care of me in elementary school. Her name was Cheryl Ruffini. She's amazing. She had this blanket made and all of my teachers in elementary school, it was kindergarten to grade six, all created a square and then signed it. Oh, wow. Yeah. I was wondering who signed that. Yeah. So like my first grade teacher, Mrs. Ainsco, who was from the UK was awesome. Um, this is my kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Paul. All I really needed to learn, all I really need to know I learned in kindergarten. And then all the other squares are based on all of my, my teachers in elementary school. Isn't that so nice? That's really cool. Yeah. Um, these are, <laughs> it's, it's really weird and I'm just going to say it out loud. These are some on the shelf here are some of the things that were important to me. So like my grandmother made all these like porcelain, she like made them porcelain like stuffed animals to look at them now they're kind of creepy but like. Okay. I, I was going to say they're no, really creepy. No, they but are. Like, you're like my grandma made this. So I was like. <gasps> No, maybe I won't say no, it. They're totally creepy. So like the mouse is super creepy, but that's supposed to sort of be like me because yeah. I cried a lot as a kid. Oh, okay. And, and I was big into Winnie Pooh, the, Winnie the Pooh at the time. So that's what that globe is. Yeah. I mean, cool. Kind of creepy, but cool. Listen, it was really nice at the time, but to look at them now, you're like, oh, it's kind of scary. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to take you to the basement where all of my stuff lives, where, which was literally my entire house where I lived in Arizona. It all lives in the basement here. Let's go. So this is your whole house. This is, this is my whole house. This is my old luggage. There's like a mattress down here, my old microwave. And why did you have to move so quickly? Uh, I had to move quickly because when I applied for my job at WE, basically Mark said, when can you move here? And I was like, well, I'm still living in a house and I have a job and my lease isn't up for two months. So I said, okay, get here when you can. So we had all of my stuff shipped here to Wyoming and I stayed here for a couple days. Then I moved straight to Toronto. So I only thought I was going to live in Toronto for two years. I didn't think that I was going to stay for 10. And so we're like, we'll just put my stuff in the basement for now, and then I'll take care of it uh, after two years. And then two years turned into almost ten. That's a tour of our house. One of the things I want to mention is that my mom creates a really comfortable environment here. So everybody always hung out at my house. We were always here because my mom always had food, and everybody felt like relaxed and like safe and, and awesome here. So this is where we always hung out. I hardly ever went to my friend's house. Every now and then we would go, but for the most part we would uh, hang out here. So, as always, you're my new best friend. Call me every five minutes. Bye. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Bye. Ding, 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 ding.